Hey friends, Kevin here, and today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people don't think about, and a lot of people don't even know about, and a lot of people are going to find out the hard way, like I did, which is this. Cheap auto parts will kill your trip. Cheap auto parts will leave you broken down somewhere. And we're going to talk about the differences and the brands of the things that you're going to use to put in your van, just as far as basic maintenance. Now, when people are thinking about van life, or they first get a van, they start doing it, all of their thought and effort goes into their conversion, into the space behind the driver's seat. What am I going to do for a bed? What am I going to do for a cabinet? Blah, 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 blah. That's all well and good and fine, but those are things that you can adjust and learn and improve along the way as you're adventuring. Stuff that leaves you broken down on the side of the road is going to be a whole different issue. So let's get into that. Now, if you're in the 30 and younger crowd, you have a different attitude than those of us that probably are older. And one of the things is you just are accustomed to a much more disposable society and just being able to find knockoffs of whatever it is that, that you want cheap. Those of us are, that are older get annoyed because we know things used to be made better. As a matter of fact, when you turn back the clock 30 years and get into the 80s and on back, most things were made very well, regardless of who made them. So you could walk into an auto parts store and say, hey, I need a starter, I need an alternator, I need a radiator hose, whatever it was, you were going to get a good quality unit. Those days are over. This game is played for whatever reason by all of the parts stores now. It doesn't matter whether you're dealing with O'Reilly's or Advance or whichever one that you chain stores that you probably have in your area or you're going to encounter on the road. And what's going to happen, every part, standard part that you go look at is going to have five different versions made by all of these outside companies in addition to maybe the company that originally made the part. So you're going to walk in and you're going to go, hey, I need a, for my brand and year van. Do you have one of those in stock? Yes, we do. It's $18.50. Fine, I'll take it. Years ago, that used to work. That doesn't work anymore because unfortunately, the one that they have in stock is probably the crappiest quality part that you can possibly get. It's either a house brand or it's some no-name part because they're trying to compete with all of the other chains and the customers that are calling them constantly and just trying to find the lowest price on what they need. This is not what you want when you're going across the country. What they're not going to tell you unless you specifically ask is what are my other options? Because that $18.50 crap part, you can buy a good part for $19.50 or $20. It's not much more money to move up to a name brand part that won't crap out on you six months later but they don't tell you that unless you specifically ask. And what's even more annoying is a lot of times they also don't actually stock that. So you may have to order it. Luckily, most of these places can get a part in within a day and they can have you the next day, the good quality part for again, very little money. I've been put in a situation of being stranded over a radiator hose before that was just crap quality and failed within a year. But this goes on with everything. It goes on with brakes and rotors. It goes on with mufflers. It goes on with starters and alternators and radiators and, and all sorts of different parts. The thing that they're going to offer you when you ask 
do you have whatever it is it's probably not the one you want you probably want to move up that food chain that cost chain a couple dollars and make sure you're getting into a name brand part but again this is investigation that you'll have to do on your own when you're standing there you'll have to ask that question You'll have to ask them. They can turn the screen around so you can see what your options are. But if you just unknowingly ask that question of, hey, do you have blah, blah, blah for my whatever van in stock? Yes, we do. And here it is. And if it fails a week later, two weeks later, six months later, that's not their problem. Their goal was to sell you, sell it to you. And while this thing may be under warranty, that doesn't make you feel any better when you're broken down and you're either having to pay a mechanic 80 bucks an hour to do the job again, or you're having to do the job again yourself. So spend that extra couple of bucks on a name brand, higher quality part. Is it annoying? Yes. Should this game be going on? With all of the auto parts stores? No, but that is unfortunately the game. And I understand, again, the reason is so many people calling in thinking they're being a smart consumer and trying to get the lowest cost part that they can possibly get. Because if you quote somebody a good alternator for $125, and the store across the street quotes $95, most people are going to run over there and buy that $95 alternator, except the $95 one is garbage, whereas the $125 one is a good brand. The person that bought that $95 one, they're going to live to regret it, and they're probably going to regret it very, very soon. And so I'd love to hear your experiences with part stores and buying good quality parts and buying poor quality parts and being offered just whatever they hand you over the counter because that's what they have in stock. Because I bet some of you have some real horror stories, but I can tell you the exact situation. My big van, when I bought it, the big white van, I went through and changed everything that I didn't have receipts on that I knew should be changed, that I wasn't sure that one of the former owners had changed. And I was trying to be smart. So I changed a bunch of stuff out. And one of the things I changed out was, of course, the radiator hoses. Not very much money, 15 or 16 $18 a piece, whatever it was. Time goes on. A year later, I'm having a problem. I have a leak. I have this thing in the garage. I'm now late for leaving on a trip because of this repair I'm having to have done. And I'm trying to be smart, and I just went ahead at this point, because I had a vehicle that was over 25 years old. I go ahead and have them replace the radiator and a couple things. And a lot of times I will go get the parts. I have learned from this. I will go get the parts myself and take them to the mechanic. But in this instance, I didn't. So I stopped by a couple days later, check on my van. He's got the parts laying there he's bought, and I look at the tag on the radiator hose, and it's the same brand from the same part store as the one that's swelling up and about to bust in less than a year. Why do you think I would want this same part put back on my van, especially when I just told you I am getting ready to leave Virginia and I am going to Arizona. I am going to be 2,000 miles away. Why would I want this same garbage put on there? And dead serious, he looks at me and says, that's the one they had in stock. I'm already late for leaving on my trip. I can wait one more day to get a good quality part. But this is why you need to be involved in your repairs and what is going on with your travel van, whether it's a minivan or a cargo van, whatever you're using for van life, even if you're having mechanics do this stuff. 
because their job is to slap a new part on, get it out the door, get on to the next job. They're not thinking about, they're not concerned with your long-term well-being. And most of their customers are running around the same town or the same city constantly, or they may have a 50-mile commute to work. They're not thinking about you going a long, long, long distance. So you have to have some involvement with this yourself to make sure things get done right. As always, anything I can answer for you, anything I can help you with, put that down in the comment section. You'll see some other stuff popping up here, some other videos that are kind of related that may help you out trying to get started doing your own adventures. And we'll talk soon.